I'll be sitting on my bed at home. I thought I packed it with apricot, my hippo. I never go anywhere without apricot. Hmm. Let's wander around the other side, so. I'm coming out, coming out of the car park. Oh, excuse me sniffing, the cold. And I'll go around the back here because I think I might be able to get to the area where my room is. That's the exit. Oh no, I came in that way, I beg your pardon. I came in that way, there's a big slidey gate that opens as you pull up. And then I went round the front and parked in there offloaded all my stuff into my room and then came back here this is the exit that bit but then you drive into there and there's the car park okay that probably doesn't make any sense whatsoever excuse me still sniffing and that's a map oh that's a map my hand yeah and that'll take you out all the gardens are over there but obviously it's I don't know what time it is, 10 o'clock now, 10 o'clock at night. Sky's looking gorgeous. Oh, it's not coming out. And then coming round the back. If I fall over, that will be so funny. Oh no, not that way. Oh, maybe I can't get round then. Doesn't look like I can get round, there's a gate. Oh, I'm so sorry for sniffing. I hate sniffing. I've got tissue, but I'm getting a bit cold. I may have to go in. Everybody's gone to bed. I'm going to get myself a coffee. That looks cool, doesn't it? I'm sure. Oh, no, my room's the other side. Maybe I'll look tomorrow. I'll probably have a look tomorrow, it'll probably be better. <sighs> Is it coming out? <sighs> no. It's nice though. You know what you feel like when you go into a group of people that you think, oh, you're the odd one out? Possibly. <laughs> Don't give a shiny, really. I'm here to enjoy myself. Nice old sundial there, look, this looks nice. Excuse me. <laughs> oh dear, can't do it. Perhaps I should turn my camera around, that would be the sensible thing to do, right? There. God, isn't it quiet? And there's me. Jabby walking in outside people's windows. <laughs> walking on the grass, keep off the grass. <laughs> I'm a badden. I'm a bad, bad, badden. Oh, let's, let's have another look through here. I'm going to turn you around again. You can't get in, they've blocked everything off. I did the food was exceptionally good. I had the vegan option today. It was, I don't know what it was. It was um, pasta of some sort. And then I had the vegan caramel, salted caramel tart, which was really, really nice actually, I have to say. I'm not a vegan. I'm not a vegetarian. I mean, I'm nearly vegetarian. I don't like to label myself. If I want a full English breakfast, I'll have one. But it's not, not often. I do eat white fish and I do eat a bit of chicken. So no, I'm not vegetarian, but I do go vegetarian. It's very quiet, isn't it? Everybody's gone to bed. This sound, I love this sound. Oh no, hang on a minute. I love the sound of footsteps. There, I love that sound. 
as long as it's not as long as it's not outside your window at three o'clock in the morning. Spooky. Sorry, this is probably going to drag on, but you know, I'll chop up this video. Let's have a look over here. There's nobody about, so I can record, right? Look at the topiary. Tree clouds. Isn't that great? Oh, my watch is kicking off now. Needs charging. Yeah, it needs something doing to it, I don't know. Oh, is that oh, there's the wolf. I don't think. I've got enough sockets in my room, actually. This is going to be boring. I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Memories. Oh, look. Oh, I can hear things in the undergrowth. <laughs> Actually, I think this is coming round to my room. I don't know what's up there. I'll explore that in a minute. My room's around here, I'm sure of it. Yeah. Isn't it lovely though? Big old place. I think it's worth, well worth coming to see. And if you could do a course here at the same time, even better. Leslie Thompson's lovely. She wrote um, Detective's Daughter, uh, Death of a Mermaid, which I did, I liked, but I think there was too many characters in it. I kept getting confused as to who was who. And I've got her new one called The Companion to read. Um, haven't read it yet. It's all signed and everything. Um, gosh, I'm around here somewhere. Because I've got the glass house bit. Maybe or not. Because that I thought that was going to be my room, but it's not because it's too big. The window's too big. I've got a tiny room. And I have to admit, sad as it seems, I'm missing not going to the gym. Idiot. What's that all about? Hmm. Well, I don't know where my room is then. I thought... I thought it was there. That's the kitchens. Look at that. I'll have another look out the window when I get back to the room. No, it can't be. It must higher than that. Because I go up two flights of stairs in my room. So maybe it isn't. Sniff, sniff, sorry. I'll go for a wander again tomorrow. Hmm. That's very confusing. Then again, it doesn't take much to confuse me these days. Yeah. What a great place. Uh, unless it's unless it's that room there. I don't think it is. It's got a glass ceilingy bit that I look out on. I don't think it is there. Oh god, I'll make it. And it's quite cold. Can you see it? 
Oh, yeah. I'll look out the window again in a minute. I'm going to grab myself a coffee. That looks great. Look at that. Little stairways. To, to hidden places. tomorrow and that just leads to a little door god it feels like I'm the only person alive in the world my dear you can hear the road don't know what that leads to this door has a coded security lock no return entry, strictly no propping open. Ooh. Interesting, Mr. Bond. Ooh. That would have been funny. Yeah, so apparently it's not going to be too much writing. It's more about uh, bashing ideas about structure, plotting, um, getting your characters and what importance your character has to the plot. Because the lady, oh, I can't remember who said it, um, Mary actually, she's lovely, I like Mary. She's the first lady to speak to me, she came and sat, at me, sat with me in the bar, was saying how the crime itself actually isn't a big part of the plot, it's the characters and the people in the plot make the story which is obviously really true which is obviously it is true <laughs> but I didn't, you, when you, you don't break it down I don't break it down like that that's not how I see it you just think oh it's blood and guts and it's murder and it's crime and actually she's so tr it's so right in what she says it's all about the people and the backstory and the stories the, su the subplots that make that make the crime more <laughs> I never thought about that. The, the actual crime itself is a tiny, tiny part. Oh, oh. The zombie apocalypse hasn't taken place because there's people here. How very dare they? I should have put my hat on. I brought it with me. Going back inside to this beautiful building. Can you see the fog? Well, it's not fog, it's like a mist. I don't think you can, actually. There's the remnants of the bonfire. Gosh, that road. It's not even a main road. People driving far too fast. So you go in this way. But I will turn it off in a minute because the security guard's in there. And he's a little bit bigger than me. But most people are bigger than me. Doesn't take much. I've got a pair of shoulders on me. Well, I thought I had. Until my PT instructor said, put your shoulders against that. And I did, and my shoulders went straight through it. There's me thinking I have big shoulders. Yeah. Not at all. Which has pissed me off a little bit because I thought I was hard. go in there and I shall turn you off for just a second. Oh my gee, look at this wall. Spectacular. But I'm going to go and get a coffee so I'll catch you later. There we go. So this has taken me up to where I found the coffee machine. <laughs> And the bar, but I'm not going in the bar again tonight. The bar's in there. But I'm gonna get myself a coffee. Oh, it's all steamed up, look. That's how cold it was outside. So, 
get myself oh okay I'm not getting the coffee they turned it off oh it's steamy so I'm getting a cranberry and raspberry tea which is probably going to be vile but got to try it right security guards again because I can <sighs> I just love being me it's going to be facing downwards though no, not everybody's gone to bed which is pretty cool Security. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, the tea isn't that bad. Even though I did want coffee. Because I like being kept awake at night, apparently. Breakfast is at eight. This is these footsteps again. Let's go, let's go. Oh, got to turn you around, hang on. I think these are great. Look. Can you see? Ooh, rowdy bunch. It's in the carpet. I love it. It's just a different way to get to my room. I need to find out more about it. The lady was telling me. But, um, oh, I've forgotten what she said. You see, oh, hello. Is that you? Hello, sausage. I don't know where this goes. Follow the bare feet. So back down again then. This is where I fall over. I wasn't going to edit this video, but I think I might have to. Otherwise, I'm going to lose quite a few of you. Not that I've got many. Um, no idea where I am. Back here again. main entrance and then the 
carpet. Now this is the red carpet that I thought I was going up. But like I said earlier, I'm not the red carpet girl. Story of my life. And there's, I think it's Aphrodite. May not be, but scares the loon daylights out of me because I think there's somebody standing there looking at me. That's the music room. So our studies are in the old library, which is here. It's all locked now. But that's where we go, that's where we do our studying. And that's where a murder may take place. Of one irate menopausal woman who's gonna kill a big-headed, white-haired man who loves the sound of his own voice. So, doesn't take much to push my buttons, but you've probably gathered that now. Yeah, I'm talking a bit quietly because there are probably people... Oh, excuse me, I don't want a door to slam in bed. Isn't it a fantastic place? Remember? That's where that locked, locked gate is up there with that light, with the code. So I must have walked past my room. So keep going up. There's more rooms there. But no, I'm up one more. Oh, it's warm in here. Outside, lovely gallery. Look, Hoover up in my room, which I now have to try and open. Wait a minute, I haven't got anything ready. I'm here. Oh. Right, 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 right. Oops, I don't even know whether you can see me or not. Back in the room. When no boy head man with two million words on the internet can get me. Oh no, I was right. Just that you can't see the glass housey bit, but there. So this was my window, it was bigger than I thought. There. Right. I'm gonna get ready for bed and then I may talk to you to some more in a minute. Depends on the batteries go. Probably gonna have to charge everything up tonight because I've been using it quite a lot. So I'll put you beside the bed with apricot. About 30 years, no, probably older than 30 years. My baby, my baby girl. Right, in a minute. Oh yeah, so I'm walking around everywhere looking for the bloody Kindle that Elliot had lent me and it's not in my car, I've left it behind. I'll get out my computer bag and finish the Kindle. So I was gonna carry on reading, I think. It's the murder of Roger Ackroyd by Agatha Christie. Um, hang on, it's warming up. Swipe to unlock. Oh, it doesn't tell me. So I'm 48% of the way through and um, round the table. It's the first, no, it's not the first, it's the, it's the Hercule Poirot after he's retired and Hastings has gone off and left him, so... 
I was going to be reading that in bed tonight, but we have been given, I, I cannot say this guy's name. I think it's a guy, it might be a lady, I don't know. Death at the Bar, the first chapter. Bugayo Marsh. Can you, I'll let you decipher how to say that. Gaio. I think the N's silent. N G A I O. Gaio. May the 3rd, 1939. I don't know whether that's when it was written or when that's when it's staged. So I've got to read this tonight. And then I'll read a bit more of the uh, murder of Roger Ackroyd. Other brands are available. And now they're in my bed. Right, I'm going to put these away because it's getting stuck between my teeth and uh, read Death at the Bar, upload some of this. Don't know how I'm going to do the video yet, three parts, because it's Friday now, obviously Saturday tomorrow, obviously Sunday after that. Should I do a Friday, Saturday, Sunday? I do a whole weekend. I don't know how long this is. And I really don't want to edit it because I know I come across as eccentric. But that's just the way I am. See ya. Don't want to be ya. But actually that's a lie. That's a big fat lie because I would like to be you. I would, it's got to be better than being me, right? It's got to be.